So I have to play this clip because we talked about all the crazy things that Donald Trump's has said uh, over the weekend, and we'll, we'll talk about them some more. But I want to play this Marco Rubio clip because this is something that we hit on with Elias Isquith earlier about how Marco Rubio feels that he has to sort of out-Trump Trump. And Rubio over the weekend was talking about the Paris attacks and just listen Listen to how he gets into this conversation. As far as national security, let me just say, I obviously am not happy about the events that happened last week in Paris, but I think it's a wait, 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 stop the tape, 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 stop the tape. I'm not happy about the events that happened in Paris, but, well, nope, stop there. Don't even, when you start in with, I'm not happy about a terrorist attack, but it's going to be bad. Let's just, let's hear the whole clip again. But I think it's a positive development that oh. suddenly has cast uh, forced Americans to confront more carefully the issue of national security. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? That what a horrible answer to the question about Paris. You think it's a positive development? This is this is like it gets back to the whole conspiracy theory of the folks that were surrounding Bush, right? Like they needed a big terror attack a big uh, assault on America in order to sell an evasion of Iraq, right? Like, this is along those lines. We needed this bad thing to happen so that we can start persecuting Muslims. Or we needed this bad thing to happen so that we can start turning away refugees and people who aren't white from coming to America, right? Like, that's what this sounds like.